What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new episode of Born to be Nerd. My name is Lance and today we are watching Attack on Titan episode 12, I believe. And I <clears throat> I've been told that this uh season or this part, I guess, is going to be 16 episodes. Am I correct in that information or is that a misunderstanding? Um so yeah, I thought this was going to be the last episode. If we have um, four more, that would be interesting. But I'm not sure. Um, so, yeah, let me know. But we are on episode 12 today. Uh, last episode was all about Falco and Gabby. Um, they met... I, for, I don't know if we got introduced to her name. I think we did. But the girl that Sasha saved um, a few years ago and uh it was kind of definitely centered towards gabby uh kind of giving her the other perspective that we've all known that falco has seen um to try to somehow uh help her understand that everything that she's been told isn't quite right and her way of thinking is somewhat one-sided so um yeah that's kind of what last episode was about and that's kind of all the episode was about, I believe. I don't remember learning anything else apart from... I think we got a little bitty clip of um, Pixis talking to... Oh man, what is her name? <clears throat> I forget her name, but the, the Zeke's follower. Um, about how Flock had been... Uh, her guard had been changed to Flock, and Flock leaked the information, so there's a reason to believe that he helped her, like, get out of her confinement to go either talk to Aaron. They know they found some stuff of hers near his house. So, yeah, curious information there, but it, we didn't get a whole lot. Um, and I think that's kind of it. So, today we are watching episode 12, and I don't know what... Well, I'm sorry, I have the hiccups. Um, I don't know what is in store for this episode at all. I have no clue. So, I think we're going to jump on into it. Uh, before we get started, I just want to say uh, that I have been going live on Twitch. So, please go follow Twitch if you'd like to come and hang out and join us while we're playing video games. But, apart from that, that's all I wanted to say. So, we're just going to get this episode started and find out what's going on. So, without further ado, Attack on Titan episode 12. Here we go. Oh. Why would she assume that you were? She's still wearing her scout uniform. That's crazy. It's interesting to open up with uh, a bit about Annie. I feel like something's going to happen there anytime soon. Any any moment now. I don't know why I said anytime soon. <clears throat> wow. It's so wild to see this because just a few years ago, everyone was so terrified of Aaron and the government was trying to decide if they should execute him or not. And now he is like the savior of paradise. It's crazy. Ooh, the animation. Oh, what is this art? Oh my goodness. That's bad. That is bad. Uh, I'm guessing... 
I don't know what to say about this art. That doesn't even look like Pixis. I mean, he attacked a Eldian village, so. And then he had, he like destroyed a lot of their like military command, but they, the Willie and them wanted that to happen anyways. <clears throat> Hmm. Okay, they're going to try to use this information for something. I don't think I'm quite good enough to figure it out myself. What? Oh, that's the guy that got thrown out of the window? What? That, so that was the guy we saw in like episode one that just kind of like looked like they commit, committed suicide. Mm, they won't even let him see him? No, I don't think I don't think that's necessarily true. Oh, 
He thinks he can torture it out of Aaron. <laughs> Aaron could transform at any moment. How do they expect to confine Aaron in order, like, and like transfer his powers? There's, no, like, they wouldn't be able to. Oh, they've been ex. They've been. They've been murdered. Okay. Oh wow. That's pretty brutal. Wow, I wonder he did that. Is this a cute uh a coup? Ah, uh, yeah. Wow. Uh I don't want to say this reminds me of something, but it kind of reminds me of something. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just walking. Oh, he's leading them. Okay. Oh, are we about to get the scene? Is this the scene? <laughs> okay. Yo, <laughs> okay, <laughs> but what's his plan, bro? Jaegerists, wow. Is it possible Aaron and them know that there's still some corruption within the Paradise military as well? Yeah, Pixis wants to work with them too. That dude was creepy anyways. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of the uh, art 
this episode. Yeah, I mean, that's how it looked. Yeah, I hate that they're getting left out of the loop, too. So they might be... Oh... There's the... Hmm. I don't know what this means. Uh, that looks like somebody. Who's that? What is that? Oh, they're there. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That was, um, uh, what's her name? Peak? Man, okay, that episode was quick, I feel like. Um, it's gonna be an easy cut, I think. Um, yeah, that, uh... I, I honestly, I still don't know what to say. First of all, let me talk about what I noticed mostly. And that was the art in this episode I felt was um, more low quality. And I'm not gonna complain about it because... Well, I kind of want to complain about it because I know that they rushed this series out to get it out like when it, when they did. And I think they shouldn't have done that, honestly. We had to wait. How long did we have to wait for season two of Attack on Titan? Was it like five years? Honestly, I could have waited another year if it meant they were going to take their time. And every frame of this entire season was going to be crisp, you know? Um... But they wanted to rush it out and get it out this year. And that meant they had to um, kind of uh, sacrifice certain episodes, I guess, to like lower quality animation. And I guess that's their, you know, decision. Um, it doesn't like ruin it or anything. It just, you know, it's not great to look at, you know. But anyways, that's what I noticed the most. Apart from that... We had, um, you know, pretty much a coup. Uh, Aaron took control over a large uh, militia. And they are going to try to meet up with Zeke. Who knows what that means. Um, but that also, but the thing is, is that uh, it looks like Peak and them are there. But they're not, it doesn't look like they're going to be anywhere near um, Aaron and Zeke, which, I mean, they're the only ones with the Titan powers right now, so. But, could they potentially take, find Annie and take her? That's something that could happen. If they're, at, like, in the capital, while everyone else is off trying to do whatever they're trying to do. I don't know. Maybe. Um, what else? Um, Mikasa and Armin are still, like, holding out for Eren, which, I mean, I get it. I'm holding out for him, for him too, like, 
there's got to be more. He's he can't be turning into a villain. Like that doesn't that just doesn't sit right with me. And that's not really the story I want. You know, um, if if that's that ends up being what happens by the end of the series that he just like became somebody that everyone had to kind of fight against. Uh, I don't know. It's just not gonna feel good. So I feel like I want to believe that there's something more and something gonna happen in the future. But um, yeah, there's that. Uh, just a lot of conflict within the military and Hanj still not able to get control over everything um and yeah so yeah this was kind of a you know quick episode a few like key details I'm not sure if I miss anything important it's hard to say honestly it's hard to say I don't know but yeah, I think, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. So I think we're going to call it here um, so I can hurry up and get this episode out. I'm running a little late today. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to call the episode here. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. We will see you in the next one. All right.